ICC Mars Orbital Stations. The ICC has four Mars orbital defense and communications space station platforms, which monitor space traffic between Mars and Earth, as well as teleportation activities from the various Stargateway portals between other planets in the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy. ICC orbital space platforms are usually cloaked so they cannot be picked up by radar, telescopes, or satellites in space. These four space station orbital platforms also act as advanced satellite arrays, which send out classified communications to various SSP and ICC space fleets, bases, and colonies that are located throughout the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy. Building fleet ships for the Dark Fleet, also known as Nachtwaffen Reger, in German and Spanish. The ICC builds advanced motherships for the Dark Fleet and also trades with other civilizations for providing them with starship technology, as well as medical serums, trading routes and rights to other planets, and building out bases, etc. in exchange for workforce labor and favors. ICC ship technology has reinforced non-penetration shielding and cannon plasma blast weaponry, which is capable of destroying cities on planets as well. The cannon plasma weapons can also destroy planets. That's why they're otherwise called the planet killers or planetary body destroyers. Planetary terraforming technology. ICC has terraforming technology that sends a neo-laser blast beam of protons or nucleide peptides to planets so they can be transformed having living, having living plant life, oxygen, atmosphere, oceans, etc. The neoblast also sends bio-living matter peptides which helps to create biological life on planets or planetary bodies as, as well as moons as an example. An ICC stealth cruiser ship, which can travel beyond the speed of light, capable of planet-to-planet -planet travel within 10 minutes or half an hour, sometimes longer, depending on how far apart the planets are in the solar system. It may take several hours to travel to other solar systems and maybe months if traveling to a different galaxy. A spacecraft that has time dilation technology on it to be able to activate portals and wormholes in order to do time travel. Now, this time dilation technology does have protective shielded buffers on it, so you can't just activate the time dilation devices on the ship without having access codes to, to the technology. It, it, it's a uh, acts as a protective measure so you don't just go time traveling wherever you want to go and whenever you want to go just because you want to or change timelines because you don't like something that happened in history. So there are protective measures set up so you don't do that. You have to have access codes enabled in order to be able to time travel to activate the time dilation technology on the ship. And the buffers are there to make sure you don't accidentally set something off and get lost in a timeline or you don't do something that's nefarious for time travel. So, so only certain people on um, the crew personnel have access to activate the time dilation technology on the ship. That's why the buffers are there to, to protect the ship and the people on it so they don't um, time travel unless it's been authorized to do so. And if somebody else takes over the ship, like space pirates or terrorists, they won't have access to the time dilation technology because it has buffers on it. They don't have the access codes, so they can't use the technology. 